Kenya, nice. South Africa, and Mango. Kenya, nice. South Africa, and Mango. Chai! 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 Oh, probably it's not so developed, unfortunately, but it has a great potential. There's a lot there. From what I've seen, like, I mean, obviously growing up as a kid, I think we had this like stereotypical American view of like, help the people in Africa. Yep. It, oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Which state are you from? Yep, I'm from Nebraska. Um, what brings you to Washington, D.C. today? Uh, spring break. Um, so can you tell us what you, what's your opinion about Africa, the continent of Africa? Uh, it's an amazing place full of diverse cultures and people that are um, learning and growing and rising just like the rest of us are. So, nice, yes. Nice. What would be your best destination if you had a ticket to the top three? Just give us three countries you would love to visit. Yes. Um, Kenya, South Africa and Mango. Togo Mango in those, maybe in that order. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So South Africa, South Africa Kenya, Kenya, and Togo. Togo. Nice. Can you just shout out to Butterbox? Looks in the camera and say shout out to Butterbox. Shout out to Butterbox. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, can you name the top three countries out of your head, of the blue, of uh, that you think about? The first three countries that come in your head about Africa. Oh my God. Uh, uh, South Africa stage. Yes. Uh, oh my God, Egypt. Yes. And uh, Morocco is probably yeah. the first three. If you could choose your first destination to visit today, where would you go? Oh my god, probably South Africa or Madagascar. I, I'm not yeah. sure if it counts, but yeah, yeah counts. I, I'd love to see it. And we would like to uh, thank you for answering our questions today for Butterbox. Can you shout out Butterbox? Butterbox? Butterbox. Thank you so much, man. Butterbox. Keep watching okay. Butterbox. Thank you so much. So we're here with a world traveler. Where are you from, sir? I'm from Kansas City. Oh, nice. What are you, what are you doing in uh, DC, bro? I'm visiting my friend. I've never been to DC, so. How you like it here? It's cool. It's uh, the parks are nice. All those monuments are really cool. Museums are awesome, and they're free. <laughs> nice. Anyway, uh, I know uh, what you have. You traveled outside of America before? Yeah, I went to this town called Chef Chowan mm -hmm. in Morocco. That I, I just went to Morocco two weeks ago. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. I Great actually catch. think as a country, it's like probably my favorite that I've been to so far because there's a lot to do there. <laughs> um, and that'd nice. be on the top of my list for your next question. Oh, and yep. then the yep. only other place I've been to is Munich. So, I mean, Munich. that just has okay. to be my <laughs> third dope, pick, dope. but it's dope. All right. So before the, the, your top three African destinations, yeah. we would like to get your, your, you know, unfiltered opinion about the continent of Africa sure. and just, you know, your, with your experiences, yeah. just let us know. Um, I mean, I only went to Morocco, so I feel like that's a very particular part of yep. the continent of Africa that doesn't necessarily embody the whole of it, but also it's a huge continent. So there's a lot there. From what I've seen, like, I mean, obviously growing up as a kid, I think we had this like stereotypical American view of like, help the people in Africa. Yep. And then I grew up and like traveled and was like, oh, this place is beautiful. There's a lot going on. Sir. I think the three places I would go is probably back to Morocco, but maybe, yep. I don't know if that's cheating, but I just loved it. And so what are the other two places? The other two places I'd say are Kenya because I just like the photography I've seen nice. of the sunsets and like the color of the mud. I yep. just think it looks beautiful. Yep. And then honestly, probably Madagascar because hey. I just love nature and I just This is the see. third person saying Madagascar today. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's probably because that movie came out of yep. it. <laughs> no, it's yeah. probably beautiful though. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Yeah. So have you ever tried any African food in America? Um, By in, mistake or knowingly? In my hometown, there's an Ethiopian restaurant, so that's okay, nice. the one place. But nice. I don't know if I've actually been to another, off the top of my head, like an African ethnic restaurant. So okay. Ethiopian food, I guess. Okay. No, can you look in the camera and say shout out to Butterbox? Butterbox? Oh, Butterbox. Shout yeah. out to Butterbox. Right. <laughs> nice meeting you. Yeah, brother. nice to meet you, man. Yeah. You, you guys have fun. Box. Nice to meet you today. This is Butterbox. I'll just try to ask you a few questions. Um, do you have any idea of your destination if you choose one destination to go in africa a country you do you have an idea or have you ever thought about that in africa yeah. absolutely like, 
<laughs> yeah, boy. What would you Where would you go? Uh, so one of my good friends at school is from Zambia. Oh. So I would love to see Zambia. Um, as well, uh, Egypt is top of my list. Oh, okay. Egypt is top of my list. Well, yeah, he wants to go to Mexico. I forgot I went to Mexico. Hey. I went to Mexico one time, nice. but I've, I forgot about that I've one. I've not been to Mexico, so hey. Hey, hey, you know. So I just uh, do you know the amount? You can you can approximate it. You don't have to give the exact amount of countries. Do you know how many countries are in Africa? Um, if I was to is it the, more than no, the states, no, no. American states or less? More, I think, much okay, more. Okay, I think okay, much okay. more. I think, okay. I think, a pr <laughs> you know if stuff. I was gonna guess, I would say uh, 83. Get out of here. Get out of here. How many? It's, a, it's about 54. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you know how many countries are in Africa? <laughs> I would say I'm 55, sir. Okay, okay. I said 54, uh, okay, 55. Okay. I might be wrong. Okay, okay. That's okay, a good okay. one. Okay, okay. That's a good one. Um, can you name one African language? Um, Swahili. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Oh, he, he's too smart. I'm not he's ignorant. ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. No, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. And um, uh, can you name? Going back on that question, can you just give us one country that a language is spoken of, uh, in? Um, Swahili. Swahili? Yeah, um, one country. It's speaking in several countries. But yeah. It's well. um, okay, I don't know the answer, but I'm going to guess. Guess. Um, Zimbabwe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's right. Yes? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's yeah. spoken in Zimbabwe, Tanzania, Kenya, uh, a little bit of Rwanda, Uganda. So it's literally. That's central part of Africa. So oh, shout out Bada Box one more time. Bada Box! He's, he's, yes, he's yes, 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 yes. Box. knowledgeable and it was amazing talking What's to you. What's your name? Box. Hi, this is Bada Box. Um, I'm here with a very a tra world traveler, as he said. <laughs> international before <laughs> International traveler. Uh, so, um, so I'll ask you a question. You mentioned before this video started that you've not been to Africa yet. Um, what would be your... If you know of any, what would be your top destination if you were given a chance to go to Africa? Which country would you go to? Uh, probably uh, Kenya or Tanzania. That would Ooh, probably be my, okay. my top choices. Uh, you know, both because obviously there's, you know, beautiful, uh, you know, natural beauty there uh, in the national parks. Uh, but also because, uh, you know, I'd I think the it's, it's a part of the world I've just never been. And I think it would be really exciting, you know, to, to go there and to kind of experience culture. That's dope. I bet you probably met people from that country. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why. That's good. Have you eaten food from the country? Yeah, no, I met people from there. I met people from Ghana. I met people from uh, South Africa, you know, a few different places. I've just never had the chance to go myself, but hopefully someday. Can you, um, I always love to ask this uh to us Americans because I felt like we actually we actually experienced the true advantages of diversity. Yeah. Can you name me top three advantages of multicultural diversity that we go through in America that makes us better? Sure. Uh, you know, I think it's it's one of the most important things we can have in America. You know, my wife is from Sri Lanka, uh, so I, you know, my kids are, are you know, half Sri Lankan, half white. And, uh, you know, we live in a community that's very diverse and we cho chose that intentionally. And I think, you know, it's important to, to, you know, learn from people who have very different backgrounds than you. And it's important to uh, have the perspective, especially as a white person myself, of the, you know, very different experiences somebody has who, who doesn't grow up white and have those advantages. Yeah, so you answered that well. Um, yeah, I know this is a very multicultural um, environment when it comes to just food and culture. Um, so do you are you from this environment and how do you like the the, the culture in this environment? Yeah, I mean I, to I everywhere else in America. Sure, yeah. I, I lived in the Washington DC area for a long time. I actually I moved up to Boston uh, okay. a few years ago. So uh, but yeah, I mean this area's got a tremendous amount of diversity. I mean oh, I'm yeah. sure just being the US capital kinda of leads to that. Nice. Um, Boston area does too, partly because all the universities up there, a yeah, lot of people yeah. come to study. True. Um, and uh, and it's important to me to live in a place that has, you know, a lot of like racial and cultural diversity. Yeah. And one last thing, can you shout out Batabox? Uh, sure, Batabox, I get it? Yes, Batabox is good. Right. Thank you yeah. so much, right. man. Thank you so Thanks. much.